You guys chilling? <laughs> All right, still working on the intros. Uh, in today's video, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how I connect cheap and generic LED strips up to the internet so you can control them with your phone or automate them with your voice using Google Home, Amazon Echo, probably Siri. I don't have an iPhone, but I'm assuming the steps are pretty similar. So most LED strips come with their power adapter and a controller which will have a infrared remote. So the controller itself is what we're gonna be focusing on today. We're gonna to be upgrading this piece. Uh, this works for a lot of people, but if you wanna automate your system or do anything advanced with it, obviously you're gonna to need to upgrade this. And then we have the LED strips themselves. So what we're gonna be putting in today is one of these little Wi-Fi controllers. Uh, there's several versions of these out there. Um, I'll link the ones that I use in the description. These have worked really well for me, reliably and safely. I haven't had any issues with these over the years and they're relatively affordable. Uh, this is mine, I just have, I couldn't find any of the other ones. Uh, it's covered in tape and everything from past projects, but we're just gonna be using this today. Uh, you're gonna have your voltage input and then you're gonna have all your outputs here. So the first thing you need to do is take your power adapter and we're just gonna cut this end off here so we can splice the wires really quick. If you don't have wire strippers, don't worry about it. You can always use scissors, although it's a little more frustrating. So once you've stripped back the jacketing off the two wires here, you're going to be left with positive and negative. Just strip back those as well. So now you have these two, just give them a quick twist and now you're ready to hook it up into the controller. So my wires from my power adapter are a little too long. I'm just going to snip them back a little bit here, otherwise you'll have bare conductors sticking out of your terminals. So take your LED controller, I'm assuming this is positive. We'll figure that out later on, but we're just gonna put the positive in the positive side. It's where you have the plus symbol, if you don't already know that. <laughs> Once those are in, tighten down your terminal blocks. Give it a little tug so you know that they're in securely. You don't want to be shorting it out. And obviously you take a look in there to make sure you don't have any stray wires sticking out at all. I'm just gonna quickly plug this into the wall so we can test if this is actually working properly. Once you have that plugged in, just take a look at the end of the controller, and if you see those little red and green LEDs lit up, you know you've done it correctly. If you don't see the lights, just reverse these two wires. Then we're just gonna do the same thing for the wires on the LED strips themselves. Uh, cut it about here, so you can use this little piece later on if you ever need to. And then we're just gonna separate these wires and strip them back like we did with the power adapter. So now that you've got these stripped, just give them a little twist so the wires don't fray too much. And once you're done with that, we're just gonna plug them into the LED controller into their respective terminals like we did with the power. Usually, this is gonna be your 12 volt, but to be sure, you can always look at the strips themselves and it'll actually say, come on, focus. Okay, so right there we got the 12 volt, so we'll know that the wire on the left is going to be 12 volts and sometimes they'll lie like this one will say it's green but actually it's red up here even though the wire is green or whatever but we'll we'll find that out once we're done plugging everything in so again we'll just be plugging these into their terminals like so so once you've got all your wires plugged in just give them a little tug after to make sure all your terminals are tight enough like we did before. And now we're gonna plug in our wall adapter. And just so you know, your adapter might look different than this. It might look like the little phone chargers kind of thing that you plug into the wall, whatever, just plug them in. And then you'll be presented with this little animation when they first boot up. Um, this can get hot, so don't leave these coiled up like I have right here. <laughs> uh, make sure you have unwound them. I've used these before, so they're all, the sticky sides already exposed and everything there, but they're a bit ruined. So what you want to do is install the Magic Home Pro app. Once you've got that installed, just open it up and you'll be presented with a screen. First thing we should do is create an account. Um, I already have an account, but if you don't have one, obviously just hit the sign up button. And once you've logged in, just go back to the main screen, hit the plus symbol and add device. So 
I recommend doing one of these at a time if you have multiples because they show up here unnamed before you've set anything up. So just tap the one controller. Once it connects, it's going to ask you what Wi-Fi network you want to bind the controller to because right now it's just transmitting its own network that your phone's connected to. But if you want it on your own network, which I don't see why you wouldn't, you're going to have to connect to the network. So I'm just going to log into my network here and give it the password. I've already done this before, so it's all saved. And then just hit confirm. The controller will now restart and connect itself to your actual Wi-Fi network. Once that's done, it'll be connected. Now you have to do is name it. So I'm just going to name it test for now. And now these LEDs on this controller will be considered test on your network. Keep in mind, whatever you name this is whatever you'll be calling it when you do any voice commands. So you'll, you know, you can name it living room strip lights or whatever, wherever they are. And just give them a quick test in here. This is how you can test if your polarity is proper on your lights. If you go to green on here and you end up getting a red like this, then just switch your green and red wires and it'll act properly. And again, it's the same for the blue, right? So if you go to blue and it's not blue, just switch the wires to whatever it needs to be to operate properly. There's some other little functions in the app. If you want to set presets, just hold them here. And now whenever the lights are a different color, you just hit the blue, etc. Uh, there's a microphone so you can make them dance to music. Okay, so the next crucial step is to go to the menu and hit device manager. And you'll see this little globe isn't blue yet. We're going to tap our device and then hit remote settings. This is going to expose your controller to the internet so you can control it with any device. Uh, all you have to do is tick off this little checkbox here and your device is going to restart again. Now your LEDs are ready to link with Google and Amazon, Siri, whatever. So once you've done that, just back out and you'll see this little blue icon now. Uh, now we're going to go over to the Amazon Echo account. If you have a Google Home, just skip ahead. And we're going to click Skills. And we're going to search for Magic Home. And in there, you're just going to tap that one and enable it to use and it's going to prompt you to log in you're just going to use the same login credentials that you used for your magic home app obviously so once you hit authorize it might pop up with a different screen here um, i've already done this once so it doesn't need my permission again but it might prompt you for permissions and then just click back it's kind of confusing it just shows you the login screen again but just click back again and now it's going to ask you to discover devices hit discover and just let it do its thing for a minute. And once that's done, just hit the done button and we're going to head over to new devices that it sees. Uh, I have a whole bunch already in here. Don't worry about those. You're probably just going to see your one device, which is our test device here or whatever you've named it. So just hit that and you'll see now we can control it with the Alexa app, depending on whatever we do. So this obviously means you can control it with your voice. Turn test off. Okay. So now obviously this will work with your actual Amazon Echo. Um, I just wanted to test it on the phone so I don't have to say the magical word that's going to trigger all your devices if you have one at home. If you want to do this with Google Home, it's pretty similar. Just go to the Google Home app and you're going to click add device, set up device. And we're going to click the bottom one. It's something that works with Google. And you're just going to search for Magic Home again and you're going to tap Magic Home Wi-Fi and again same steps just going to log in with the same credentials that you made your account with on the Magic Home app once that logs in it might ask you for some permissions here again I've already done this so it's not going to prompt me but you may see another screen here and then we're just going to hit back back again and we're going to go over and down you're going to see all these devices here I already have a whole bunch but just look for the name of the ones that you set up previously so now you can just control them through the Google Home app like you did with the Amazon Echo. You can turn them on, set the brightness, set the color, and this works with Google Home or your Google Assistant. Turn off test. Okay, turning off the test. And it's just going to do the same thing. Um, I don't have an iPhone. I imagine it's pretty similar. The, all these smart home project or products are actually re really well done. 
uh, given this this is just a cheap you know random Wi-Fi controller I was actually pretty impressed with how well they work so that pretty much does it for this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comments below I try to read every comment and answer any questions if you have any let me know if you have any suggestions of how to do future videos I'm still pretty new to this so I appreciate those as well I've left links in the description below for everything I've used in this video if you want to purchase your own. Uh, they are Amazon affiliate links, so they throw me a buck or two if you buy through those links. It helps, it helps support the channel, lets me buy some new equipment for future videos for you guys. And you can buy them anywhere else. If you want to buy them on eBay or AliExpress, they might be a little cheaper. Just search 5050 SMD RGB LED strips. That's the keywords that I use to find these exact ones. Just keep in mind, certain manufacturers don't color balance theirs the same, so if you buy them from one place, and then you buy more from another place, they might not match. So keep that in mind if you're doing larger projects. I learned the hard way, and it kind of sucks. If you stuck around this long, thank you. I appreciate it. Hit the like button if you liked it, or dislike. Do whatever you want. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video.